steering a robot on a distant place is no activity for guys trying to double click on everything underneath their mouse pointer, instead it takes patience and brain. This video prepares you to control my rover by internet. As soon as you call the page of the control center with your browser, a message box appears saying that only trained stuff is allowed to push the buttons. After watching this video, you can confirm the message by pressing the OK button without any worries. Type your name or nickname at the accordant field, because all operators entering the control center have to be identified. The red marked line at the top of the message field indicates that the rover is currently in use by another operator. You must wait until the rover control is released. Meanwhile, the red line has turned into a yellow line, telling you that the rover is free for use. If you start pushing the buttons nonsensically, you might notice that the rover doesn't start moving in any way. So let's start acting methodical and adjust the drive direction to straight forward and the drive distance to a value of 10. This instruction is not transmitted to the rover until the button send command is pressed. Now the rover starts moving straight forward and some seconds later the picture of the camera inside your browser gets updated. As soon as the instruction set is processed completely and the last picture has been transmitted, the rover asks for the next command by displaying a second yellow marked line inside of the message field. The vertical view angle of the camera can be altered by adjusting the value camera angle. By decreasing the value, the camera points downward. Let's stop the rover by adjusting a drive distance of zero. The stop sign indicates that the rover doesn't move while processing the next instruction set. By pressing send command, the rover starts acting once again. Now the camera is pointing to the surface in front of the rover. By increasing the value, the airspace above the rover can be observed. Let's drive slightly forward to be able to display the whole airplane with the webcam of the robot. You can take a high resolution snapshot of objects with a special interest. To do so, you have to push the button snapshot on. While doing a snapshot, the rover stops driving automatically. The drive distance is adjusted to zero and the stop sign is placed at the rover icon to make clear that the rover won't drive during the next command. Driving and taking a snapshot simultaneously is impossible to avoid getting blurry photos. As soon as the snapshot of the object has been taken, you can see the full resolution version at the picture gallery. By pushing send command, the snapshot functionality is turned off automatically, but the drive distance is kept zero. If you intend to drive the rover after a snapshot, you have to adjust the drive distance to a value greater than zero. Multiple commands can be transmitted simultaneously by pushing the send command button. Let's adjust the drive distance to 10, the drive direction to the rear left, Turn on the light to an intensity of 2, let's point the camera slightly downward and move the camera to its highest position. All those instructions are processed parallelly by the rover as soon as the send command button is clicked. By altering the camera height, the viewing angle is altered too, because the camera is lifted by turning a lever. Hence, the viewing angle has to be readjusted by altering the camera height. There is no smooth video stream transmitted to your browser, because the rover is connected to the internet by a low data transfer rate. In comparison to Mars scientists, you need just a little bit of patience. 
The signal delay to a rover on the Moon or Mars is clearly higher and providing high data transfer rates is very expensive. Inside of the RoboSpatium, thus the robot space, you can find modules which can be controlled via the rover. Instructions are transmitted by an infrared interface as soon as the rover is in range of a module. To do so, the button's extra functionality have to be used. The functionality of those buttons is explained at the message field. The turntable in front of the rover can be turned to the left or to the right and the light above the table can be turned on or off by pushing one of the buttons. Only one extra function can be transmitted with each instruction set. If you don't transmit a new instruction set within 30 seconds, even if the rover requests for new commands, the rover control is released and those user who presses the send command button first gets access to the robot. Likewise, the rover lease ends after 5 minutes of operating time. Everything clear so far? So have fun inside my robo spatium.